Okay, so we've got a um, new air quality sensor, and this one is kind of interesting because it's a CO2 sensor, but it's not an effective CO2 sensor. And you're like, wait a minute, it's not effective? It's like, no, 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 it's not an effective CO2 sensor. So a lot of CO2 sensors you see, like the SGP30, they're not true CO2 sensors. They're not actually measuring the CO2 in the air. They're kind of approximating it based on, um, you know, volatile organic gases that they're measuring, and they sort of do some math, and they sort of do analysis, and they're like, okay, this is what we think the CO2 is, and we're pretty close. Um, but uh, this is a, a true NDIR sensor. So this is, this is a sensor that uses... I, and I linked to the Wikipedia, and I don't say I completely forgot everything about it, but um, it uses infrared light to detect how much CO2 is actually in the air, like parts per million. Um, so this is what they use when, like, you know, you want to actually measure atmospheric carbon dioxide, or you want to measure actual airflow in a building, or you want to, you know, you're, you're measuring CO2 in a greenhouse, or you're measuring uh, emissions from, um, you know, machinery, and you want to measure how much CO2 is coming out of them. Um, this is the device. So this is from Sensorion, and they make great sensors. Um, the sensor that they make is like this kind of chunky module you see in the middle, the green thing. Um, there's actually a little microcontroller and also an SHT31 humidity and temperature sensor. So you actually get CO2 plus temperature plus humidity. All over I squared C, and the data kind of pops out over one I squared C port. Um, and uh, we have code in Arduino and Circuit Python and Python. Um, it's very easy to use. Uh, you just you know, basically every two seconds or so you get a new piece of data. You can um, change how often that data gets emitted, like from two seconds to an hour. But you're not going to get data more than every two seconds. And you can even see that glowing light that that's it performing um, the the sensing in the cavity inside of this plastic body. So it's a really cool sensor. Um, they're not as inexpensive as a, a basic air quality sensor because it's again doing true. Um, hold on. it's doing true CO2 sensing, but again, there's nothing, I mean, it's, it's, it's 60 bucks, but there's n nothing less expensive that does the real thing. And like I said, this is the real thing. This is true CO2 sensing. So, um, right now it's measuring indoors about 800, uh, PPM. That's not uh, unusual. Uh, it's winter. We have things are, are closed and not a lot of, uh, air, um, circulation happening here. Um, if I breathe near it, you will see uh, the CO2 rise. Um, the little video we have, it, it's a compressed can of air, right? Which is, of course, um, going to have a lot of uh, CO2 in it. But you can see even like me breathing, it does increase the, the CO2 in this area. And you can see the, the glowing um, IR uh, uh, sensing element at the end there that from the, the air that's kind of flowing in, it measures it. Um, and then sends the reading out over I squared C. So we just soldered it onto uh, a breakout board for you to make it really easy to use. Um, it's got level shifting and um, a regulator, so it can be used with five volt or three volt, you know, Raspberry Pi or Arduino Uno or anything in between. Um, but for people who want to do environmental sensing, environmental science, earth science, emissions, air quality, like this is really the sensor you want. I actually haven't been able to find any other sensor that's under a couple hundred dollars that does this uh, so easily. So uh, good on Sincerion for making a great quality sensor for an affordable price. All right.